Hey guys, Empire here, back with another video about uh, Anacom 2012. Uh, I'm just going to talk about some of the things we're getting to see so far. Pretty much all the photos coming in are of the setup phase for the convention, but we've also gotten some full reveals actually for a couple of figures from both Enter Bay and Hot Toys. So what I'm going to talk about in this video is just kind of the pictures that we're seeing from the, uh, the showroom floor of things that are new to us. And I will actually do separate videos for the things that have been fully revealed. So uh, let's get started. First off, I'd like to talk about the Hot Toys exclusives for this Anacom 2012 convention. Uh, they posted this uh, brochure or flyer type uh, image showing off what the exclusives would be for this year and what would go up for pre-order during the convention. Uh, I would think that the same things will be coming out for Sideshow. Um, usually when there's like an Asian exclusive piece to a, to a figure, uh, Sideshow also, that will be the Sideshow exclusive if once we get it over in the States. So what they uh, have announced in this brochure is that we'd be getting the Iron Man Mark 7 with a little holographic Mark 7 uh, figurine, kind of like they did with the Mark 1. And then the 1 4th Batman The Dark Knight Rises figure will be coming with a 1 4th uh, Batman mask cowl like an additional one I guess maybe that means they're gonna do like a one-fourth Bane and maybe you can hold it he can hold it um, but it's not broken or anything so uh, I guess it's something neat to have and then finally the one-fourth endoskeleton will be coming with an additional plasma rifle as their exclusive so um, the exclusives are pretty neat uh, I have to say I, I definitely dig the uh, Mark 7's exclusive along with the uh, endoskeleton's uh, exclusive the plasma rifle is kind of an iconic gun in the Terminator world I'd say so let's move on to figures that were actually on display or at least getting set up at the convention floor today that we were lucky enough to get pictures of um, and see ahead of time. Uh, so let's start off with the DC stuff. First things first, we got to see the Selena Kyle slash Catwoman figure from Hot Toys. I'd say it looks pretty good. The tailoring and the choice of materials they used on the figure itself are really good. I think they learned a lot of things when working on that Black Widow figure and they've come a long way on getting those full body suits to hang on the body properly so kudos to them um, as far as the sculpt goes it looks pretty good I, I can definitely see her in it I'd like to see more pictures to like uh, really make a decision on it but she does have rooted hair which some people are gonna either love or hate um, I, I'm kind of indifferent on it I think the newest Black Widow seems to be pulling off the rooted hair look properly so I'm hopeful that this figure can do that as well it does look like that the goggles could potentially fold down like they did on the movie. They're just on top of her head in this. And it, it does also look like that the the cat mask that she wore, um, just the, the cloth mask that she wore across her face, is actually removable on the figure. So maybe that's why it's Selena Kyle slash Catwoman. Because uh, we're going to, you know, you'll have a Selena Kyle sculpt without without the mask on it, essentially. After that, uh, we got to see the the bat. The bat looked really nice. Uh, it was pretty big, <laughs> really big. Uh, there was like a picture of someone crouching next to it, setting up the display, and the thing is practically the size of the person crouched. Um, it looks to have like all the weapons on the front that it did in the movie. Um, the cockpit looks pretty detailed on the inside. I will say that I, I don't know um, if it was finished being set up. It didn't look like it was finished being set up in these photos because it looks like the glass shielding from the cockpit is missing and I didn't see the rotor blades and stuff from it. So um, just for getting to see like a sheer scale of it is pretty cool, but um, I'm not going to say this is the final item that we're going to be basing our purchases off of. Um, maybe in the coming weekend we'll get to see the full picture, but who knows, I could be completely wrong. And then after that, uh, there was, uh, again, another large display of the uh, the Batman figures for the Dark Knight Rises line. We got to see the two DXs that are coming out, along with uh, the Jim Gordon, uh, the, the SWAT version that is going to be released. And they all looked really nice, and it was cool to see all the accessories and everything set up for them. I'm really excited for that DX Batman to actually have a cloth suit. I think that's going to be a huge improvement over the previous ones, um, and it actually almost warrants... Uh, a repurchase for me just just for that let's move on to the marvel figures we got to see uh first off we'll start with the golden age captain america um we did get to see him at sdcc uh, but there were better pictures taken here so far i'd say uh, the tailoring on the suit i think looks great 
actually really like the material kind of wool look he does have and uh, the star looks great on his chest but at the end of the day the costume still looks pretty hokey I know it, it was meant to in the movie so I guess it's achieving that look I'm just I don't I don't know how to feel about this figure as far as the head sculpt goes I think it looks pretty good um, I definitely see Evans in it but uh, I don't know the top of the head seems a little little small or something um, it could just be the you know the, the cowl is close to the head while the jaw is exposed so it's obviously it just looks wider and I do like the fact that the, it, it seems that the cloth is actually wrapping around his head um, it might just be the neck part that attaches and the rest is sculpted but uh, it, it does does look good and it brings up a nice um, uniform look and then uh, he also he does come with uh, his shield of course and I think it looks great and I love the fact that uh, it comes with the notes that uh, he had on the back or his lines from when he was doing the the Captain America show that he was going around while he wore this um, USO outfit. So I think that's a great touch and it really adds something to the figure. Uh, next up we saw the Amazing Spider-Man figure. Um, yes, we've seen this figure a couple of times already and it's actually been fully revealed. But what hasn't been shown before was the Andrew Garfield head sculpt. And they actually have it on display at the show. I think it looks pretty dead on. Uh, I think... Uh, I, I saw the movie, um, and as far as my memory goes, that, that, that is Andrew Garfield, so thumbs up on that. Uh, I do like the fact that it is battle damaged. He's got some uh, cuts on his left cheek, so uh, I was thinking that, that they would, and maybe they still will. It's just something on display before they've actually announced anything. There would be like a clean sculpt and then like a battle damage sculpt for a battle damaged figure, because in the movie... He did get pretty fucked up, and the suit was all cut up and everything, so I could see that face sculpt working a little bit better with, with an actual damaged suit. But, hey, little nitpicks. Uh, I think I think it definitely looks great. Um, does it really warrant the $205 price tag? Uh, I don't know about that. I'm, I'm definitely on the fence about this figure, even though I love the movie. And then we got to see the Avengers fully on display. They had all the Avenger figures on display in a big battle scene. So all the figures that we've, we've had pretty much officially announced, plus Iron Man and Hulk, which we knew were coming, in one battle scene. You get to see Hulk in all of his glory. Um, he's nice, big, and green. Uh, I do like the color green they chose for him. I think it, it, it suits him well, and it really makes him pop on, on that display, at least. He is absolutely massive. Like... Seeing the pictures of the Grey Proto before really didn't even do its size justice, I feel. I was, like, shocked when I saw it on, on the display table in those photos. Um, it, it, it looks great. Um, but again, now that we're seeing a, at least a painted version, I'm not seeing any joints, so that means he's probably covered in rubber. I'm um, not a huge fan of this because you'll be afraid to, you know, like with any rubber, they do deteriorate or crease and they can rip. So I won't want to pose Hulk in really dynamic poses or anything like that because I'm afraid that it, it could potentially ruin the figure. Um, it, it also, on top of that, it, it means there's no, like, swap out hands or anything, it looks like. Uh, the only joints I can see on this figure are the shoulders and the ankles. Um, so I, I guess, I mean, maybe in more pictures we'll get to see better angles, but as of right now, I'm a little, I, I mean, I, I definitely want to get them, but I'm a little wary, uh, just about how this figure is actually going to come out, uh, w with it being so much rubber on it. Um, but that said, the details on this figure look really nice. The musculature is sculpted great, uh, the veins and everything on his body, uh, they, they look awesome and it's really well painted. I hope that paint can translate to, uh, the production model. Uh, so, fingers crossed. And then, like I said uh, before, they, in the other video, they announced that uh, the Chitari Foot Soldier and Phil Coulson will be figures, or Agent Phil Coulson, are figures that are coming out. So, they showed off the Chitari Foot Soldier, uh, again, in the Grey Proto form, uh, actually on display at the show. And they actually had, which was a nice surprise, an additional head sculpt. Um, this head sculpt looks to be like it doesn't have the armor armor plating that it had on its face for the other head sculpt so i'm kind of curious does this mean we're going to be getting a separate figure with this head sculpt or will this just be an additional head sculpt that's included with this figure either way cool uh, i, I kind of feel like they might try to make two figures out of it just to if if they're um you know going to the lengths of sculpting new bodies maybe they're going to try to remarket it as much as possible with repaints etc but who knows i guess we'll see and as far as the stuff we got to see for um, Agent Coulson, um, they had like a gray prototype in the suit spun around, so you don't get to see the face or anything like that, but they had all of his accessories out on display, which was pretty cool. 
You got to see all the pl- uh, the the Captain America cards that are going to be coming with him. He comes with a phone, a walkie-talkie, a watch, a shield file, and, and, a, and a handgun. So it's nice to see that they gave him, even if it's just little things, a little bit extra to the figure so it's not just a bare-bones dude in a suit with a big gun. Uh, I am definitely happy with that. They all, there was no shades, though. I don't know if the sculpt had the shades on it or what, but hey, yeah, I'm sure uh, they'll, they'll, they'll include shades. That's an easy thing. And then finally... As far as uh, Marvel goes, at least, Hot Toys finally revealed some of the X-Men figures that they've been saying they've been making since first class was, uh, for, since the first class uh, license was announced. They showed us Professor Xavier from first class and Wolverine from, I think, like, X3. Um, I'm kind of surprised that they're making another Wolverine figure before showing us any more of the first class figures. It's kind of upsetting. But, uh, again, the, these were just pictures taken while the displays are getting set up, so who knows, there could be another four or five, you know, or another one figure, whatever, figures going out on display, uh, so I, I could be completely wrong. But, as far as the Professor X goes, the, these shots weren't that clear and they weren't that great, but the tailoring looked pretty good on it, the sculpt, I really, I, I don't know if I can comment how I feel about it before seeing more pictures, it looks kind of like the actor, but again, you know, it's a cell phone shot or something with a lot of glare and everything else, so it's not the clearest photo, and maybe some other angles will show off a bit better. Now, the Wolverine, on the other hand, um, again, it's not a great shot, but I don't, that looks nothing like Hugh Jackman to me. Um, I, maybe it's just me, but that, that photo, it, hopefully it's not doing the figure justice, because it looks, it does not look like him at all. I think it's cool that we're finally going to get a Wolverine in the uh the the x-men the leather like black x-men outfits and if they continue to do other figures from those x-men movies would be great i'd love to see a colossus and uh you know everyone from x-men one and two um and i just love colossus so x-men three would just for that but that movie really uh, not much else from there i'd even bother to want um i do hope we're gonna get to see a, a fassbender magneto from first class though because that's like the number one figure i want to see from first class is the blue and yellow magneto with the helmet uh so please 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 hopefully we'll see it this weekend but as of right now it's just fingers crossed and lastly what hot toys had on display for us was they showed us that yes indeed one six scale robocop is back they have robocop and ed 209 from the first movie on display there again these these photos aren't great so we can't really see the the fine details of these of these figures whether they're uh just prototypes right now or what but it's nice to see that they are further far enough along that they're on display Hot Toys also included like some pictures from RoboCop in the display and like a book open to a picture of I believe it was RoboCop with that with the helmet off and he might have been in disrepair when it, from RoboCop 2 I think it was when he got broken apart but I, I'm not sure why they were showing this maybe that means we're gonna finally get like a a Peter Weller sculpt uh, as RoboCop where you can remove the helmet and see it and everything like that um, but I I am excited I am a big fan of RoboCop so. I really hope uh, we'll get to hear more about this, and hopefully people will be taking more pictures of that display soon. Uh, just on a, on a side note, I guess, Hot Toys also launched a new line of um, light-up bases that also rotate. Um, it, it's kind of neat. Uh, it's not something for me, I don't think, but they they can actually um, group up together and form a circle of six, or they can zigzag in a line of six, and they'll all rotate and um, light up together it's a cool feature um they they look like they're they're pretty big bases though compared to what the normal hot toys bases are so it's going to take up more shelf space i think maybe if there was like a figure i wanted to feature i might put it in something like that but i don't think i would go ahead and replace all my old bases with something like that but you know just something worth mentioning uh could be could be something cool to spice up your display so that's all of the anacom 2012 uh I guess photos and teases that we've seen today at least again this is just uh they're setting up the convention as far as i know uh from these photos so there will be more i'm sure we'll get to see better pictures of things maybe even more things will be announced so stay tuned and like i said those figures that have already been announced like the uh the hot toys endoskeleton and the mark 7 and then the enter bay one fourth batman and joker uh those have all been full full reveals so i'm actually going to do separate videos for those 
So uh, thanks again, guys. Let me know what you think, and uh, I'll talk to you guys soon.